This is Melissa Thomas with Florida National News here with Dave Clark of JetBlue. Uh, first of all, congratulations on becoming pretty much the anchor airline for Terminal C. Kind of talk about your relationship with the Orlando International Airport and how it feels to be here in Terminal C. Sure. No, we're thrilled to be here today. Orlando is one of our largest airports at JetBlue that we serve throughout the country. Um, and we're just so excited to be in our new home. It's a beautiful building, uh, lots of great amenities for our customers, and just a really great fit with the JetBlue experience. We try to give customers a premium experience, and this terminal certainly helps with that. It's wonderful. And then up there, you briefly mentioned um, the kind of upcoming, for lack of a better word, merger, but between uh, JetBlue and Spirit, you wanted to expand the amount of uh, low fares that are available to passengers. Kind of talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, we're a growing airline. We're excited to grow um, independently for the next year or so, and then excited to really accelerate that growth with the acquisition of Spirit. Um, we believe that we can grow faster together than either airline could um, individually, and that just means more low fares and more offers, um, more great flights for customers. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, again, congratulations. Kind of talk about what's the next project, aside from obviously the merger with Spirit, what's coming up next for JetBlue? Sure, we're working on a lot of interesting things. Um, one exciting one is our continued European expansion. Uh, we're now flying five flights a day to London, um, and we've announced that starting the summer we'll begin serving Paris. Um, so that's really exciting for us and a really fun part of our growth. Awesome. Congratulations again, Dave Clark, Dave Clark, everybody. Thank you so much for your time. Great. Thanks for having us.